Welcome back. We got another edition of David's Science Experiment. David, what are we breaking down this weekend? So, as I've been saying so many times, this winter it's been a little bit mild, but we still have some snowfall that's been on the ground here, slowly starting to melt this week right. with the warmer temperatures. But if you want to make your own snowflakes at home, you can do this with borax and actually just some water and a few different materials like pipe cleaners and even just... Um, some jars for us here and some pencils. So this is kind of what I did. I made snowflakes out of the pipe cleaners and then I had about eight cups of water to three cups of borax here. And I stirred that and basically what I did was that I set up these snowflakes here into the jar and I let them sit there in basically the borax, the hot borax and water solution for about two hours. And you can see it started to crystallize there as the water started to cool. And so that's basically what this experiment was. It was relatively easy to do, and it's a little bit dangerous with the hot water. So if anyone wants to try this at home. Parental guidance. Parental guidance, <laughs> is good, especially with that borax too, yes. because you don't want to be like ingesting that or inhaling that too much if you are going to be over the hot, the hot stove with that. Yes. So make sure parental guidance is needed. But really what happened with this was that basically a physical change when we went from dissolving all of that borax in the hot boiling water and once it started to cool, it ended up going into basically uh, crystallizing. But really what happened based on solubility, it's basically solubility is how well something dissolves in a medium or in a solution. So our solute, which is what we mix in, is our borax. We added so much of that in, our it couldn't dissolve anymore, so our solution became what's known as super saturated here. Mm. So once it started to cool, it really went through that physical change from that eight to three ratio, so it was super saturated. So once it started to cool down, the end result was a crystallization of that borax reappearing and basically solidifying onto the pipe cleaners there. Now I'm recalling some of these these vocabulary words from science class. Yes, it's so kind of coming back. It's to coming me. back to you, <laughs> and even in our atmosphere, Charles, that mm -hmm. the typical snowflakes that we made here have those six signs. So these are what we call dendrites, the more prettier ones we see during the winter months, and we're kind of used to here. So these are usually six-sided; they're the fastest growing, and at different temperatures in our atmosphere, upper levels, in the clouds, we can get different types of habits or shapes of snow crystals mm -hmm. that can form in the atmosphere it could be plates, could be prisms, could be like hexagonal prisms, and then right there you can see some lines above the prisms around negative 5 to negative 10. Those basically could be called columns too, and you could definitely have that forming in our atmosphere, a little cylinders. All based on the temperatures? Uh, partly due to the temperatures. Partly, okay. So not, there's other meteorological elements that go into it, mm -hmm. but basically at different temperatures we can get different types of ice crystals forming. Wow, yeah. that's really cool. Something easy to try at home. I know we've worked with the borax before, right? Is that uh, no? That was different. In no, the oublex. that was different. We had cornstarch corn and then starch. water in the oobleck. So. A lot more safe. And <laughs> both, are, both are white, so yeah, we have these here. They're not perfect exactly. So they don't need to be perfect. You need to make sure these actually fit in your jars oh, this too. This is pretty cool. Because when I was doing this experiment. I couldn't take them out of the jars, and that means I kind of had to smash them in my garage. So, <laughs> oh no! So do as I do as I say, not as I do, or something. Mm -hmm. That's 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 the uh, term for it. So you. what was the problem with that? You had to break the jar that they were too big. What they, was the issue? The crystallization from the borax. It basically I couldn't pull them out of the jar because it was a okay. glass jar. So that's just something to look out for if you try this at home. All right, yeah. so take those tips and some parental guidance as well just to be safe out there. So yeah. thanks, David. That was a great addition to David's Science Experiments. And